Okay, so tell me about your company in 20 seconds or less. Brainscape is a mobile study platform that helps people study more efficiently using cognitive science. So you can think of it like flashcards on steroids. Ah. Uh, you can create your own and share with groups of people and you could also find great materials created by experts. Okay, very cool. I think it was 18 seconds. I was counting. <laughs> um, so how did you come up with this idea? Uh, it actually started as a problem that I was trying to solve for myself. Mm -hmm. I was working with the World Bank in Panama and I had to get really good at Spanish and Rosetta Stone wasn't cutting it for me. My old like minor in Spanish and study abroad weren't cutting it for me. So I created the first version of this study tool in Microsoft Excel. Uh, made a little macro automated program and it became so helpful for me and then actually for a couple friends that used it for their biology questions uh, that I ended up getting my master's degree in education technology at okay. Columbia. Uh -huh. Made that the focus of my degree. Um, prototyped and showed that it actually does help people learn multiple times faster uh, and scientifically proven. Wrote some white papers, raised mm -hmm. some money from investors, uh, and here we are. Very cool. So how long has it been? Uh, it's been now officially as, as a company launched and, and out there a little over three years. Okay. Uh, we've got now over a million users and growing pretty quickly mm -hmm. and are wow. really excited about what's ahead. Yeah. And how did you get your million users? Uh, mostly word of mouth. Mm -hmm. um, you know, slow going early on, you pretty much have to beg people to use it for free. Yeah, friends and family. And exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, people on Facebook, I'd be like, hey, please download it, give me feedback, uh, and then slowly, you know, the more people like it, the more sites link to you, mm -hmm. and people write about you uh, or interview on awesome couches, yes. and the word gets You're out. Welcome. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then they share the app. We mm -hmm. have it. You know, now uh, even more uh, replete with social features. So you could share, invite your Facebook friends, mm -hmm. you could challenge them and sort of see how they're doing. So. Okay, is there much competition in this space? Uh, yeah, but in, in different kind of aspects of it. So there's companies like Flash Notes and Course Hero mm -hmm. where you can kind of buy notes online, download Word documents, and I think also they have a flashcard tool, but uh, more kind of just linear flip through, not really you know, the, the quantified type experience. And then the the biggest player, I think, in the web and mobile study place is a company called Quizlet. Okay. Uh, they're based in San Francisco. They were founded a little over 10 years ago, actually. Uh, and they're, they're more based on kind of vocab words rather than, you know, flashcards that could have anything on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, they have lots of really cool games and they're, they're really big in K-12. Okay. Uh, whereas Brainscape, while we do have about 20% K-12, uh, are bigger in college, grad school, medical school, and even corporate training and yeah. independent lifelong learners as well. Okay. And what what was your path like to get here? What was your first job? What did you do after that? Yeah, so I was actually back in college, was an econ and finance major, uh, and worked as an economist for the government in DC for a couple of years for the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Uh, and then I ended up getting a gig with the World Bank, which is how I uh, ended up abroad. Okay. Uh, and then from there to grad school for mm -hmm. education technology. And uh, actually, while I was continuing to work on the Brainscape prototype after grad school, uh, I got a job in the e-learning industry uh, doing consulting uh, for Wall Street firms and pharmaceutical firms, kind of helping them set up e-learning strategies. Mm -hmm. And do you miss finance at all? That's a different. Um, I don't really have to miss it because you know part of my job as, mm -hmm. as CEO is is dealing with finance all the time. Mm -hmm. You know whether it's raising money, whether it's reporting, accounting. And as far as raising money, did you go back and forth on if you wanted to do um, a partnership like that, or if you wanted to try to raise yourself? I know a lot of entrepreneurs go back and forth with that. How did you make that decision? Yeah, I mean, we knew that what we want to build is capital intensive. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to build a study platform that is used by everyone in the world. And to be able to do that, uh, the most important thing is just to have an amazing user experience mm -hmm. and to make it a great study experience. And it's, uh, as many investors know, it's really hard to, ha to be great at both user experience and, yeah. and growth and revenue and monetization. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, if you're a B2B company, you're selling consulting services, you know, great, you're monetizing from day one, you're selling. Uh, whereas, you know, consumer digital, web and mobile, um, if you really want it to go viral, you got to focus on the UX first mm -hmm. before revenue. And so because we knew we probably were going to put in revenue after, uh, we knew that it, it would require money. Yeah. And how many of you are there? 
Uh, we're now 10. Okay. Uh, we actually have an office in both New York and San Francisco. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you count uh, current and past interns, consultants, uh, overseas virtual assistants and everything, we're like a team of 30. Okay. We use a lot of virtual assistants using, you know, Odesk and, and other platforms mm -hmm. for that. And as far as your CEO role and all the hats that you wear, what, what are the most important areas that you work on right now? Um, I actually have a list of, of six bullets that I keep on my computer. Um, so if I ever feel, feel like one of those is out of balance, mm -hmm. then I have to kind of devote to it and see if I can actually remember what the six are. <laughs> uh, so yeah, cash flow, um, vision, so product mm -hmm. vision. Like if I ever feel like some people on the team might not be fully aligned with where we're going, I have to do stuff to get everybody aligned. Okay. Um, Let's do. Investor management. Uh, so that's you know, current investor management. Mm -hmm. Um, brand management, so PR, getting out there, you know, making sure that um, the design is great, we have the right, you know, about us page, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Thought leadership, um, so doing interviews like this, but also speaking at conferences about uh, cognitive science and things like that. Um, and I'm sure there's a sixth one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you need uh, your technology. Man. You need the flashcards to know what your six things <laughs> exactly are. Exactly, to, to keep memorizing. Uh, oh, product. Okay. Yeah, so there's not the having product. fun in there at all while you work. Is that's that a given. That's part, of the, that's part of the culture. Okay, got it. Okay, so those fun. are good. Those are like your six principles of how you run the business. Mm -hmm. That's great. No, the six main roles of, of myself as okay. a CEO. Yeah. Okay, got it. And um, any other tips that you would give budding entrepreneurs right now? Tell everybody about your idea. Um, you know, people are so sensitive that somebody might steal your idea and it's, it's something that almost every first time entrepreneur has as a fear, uh, even if they hear this advice 50 times, but seriously, yeah. if you're out there listening, tell everybody your idea. <laughs> you heard it here first. Exactly. So even if you have just an idea and you haven't even done anything with it, especially you okay. because the more people you talk to about it, the more feedback you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And you know every good idea, like after you talk to a hundred people, yeah. it's ninety nine percent different than when it started. Right. And so if instead of talking to a hundred people, you just say, "Well, I'm going to build this. I'm going to spend time and resources, you know, writing code, developing product." Mm -hmm. It's it's not going to be aligned with what people really want or with what they'd be willing to share or pay for. Have you told anyone your idea before you did it, and they have told you not to do it? Oh, almost everybody. <laughs> and that was that was what was the most helpful in helping me shape the concept and improve it and make it you know, more palatable to the masses. Still people say like, okay, how much bigger can it really get? You know, right. you should probably sell right now or quit. You know, there's mm -hmm. plenty of haters and those are the yeah. people that, you know, when you look in the mirror, uh, they, they motivate you to keep going. Yeah, definitely. That's good. Maybe that should be one of your other principles. Hate is going to hate. Yeah. <laughs> That's number eight. Right. Um, okay. And what's next for you guys? Uh, there's 600 million people in the world who are studying something every mm -hmm. year, uh, mostly on print or watching videos or other kind of linear, inefficient methods. Yeah. And if we could take all the knowledge in the world and break it up into its bite-sized building blocks, have a, a knowledge data layer underlying all education, which we call the Knowledge Genome Project, uh, and feed it into Brainscape, then we can create an efficient web and mobile and tablet learning ecosystem for every subject on the planet, and we're like one tenth of a percent of the way there. That sounds amazing. Well, Thanks. great. Where can everyone find you? Uh, Brainscape.com. Uh, find me on Twitter uh, at I'm a Cohen NY. Uh, maybe you could write that somewhere. <laughs> um, and uh, Brainscape also on Twitter. Okay, great. Great. Nice to meet you. Awesome talking to you, Mindy. Yeah.